Hello girls, we're back. So this is part two, how do scientists use tools? So we're done with the tools. I have shown you different tools in the lab, but we don't have chance to actually see it because of our current situation. But still, we're lucky we have our technology to see it. So let's discuss safety. Scientists know that they must work safely when doing experiments and using tools. That is very important because if you're not doing experiment or the activity safely, you might meet an accident. An accident is a big trouble to all of us. You need to be careful when you do experiment and activity. As I mentioned, it can cause accident. At the same time, you could damage, you could break, you could uh, spill chemicals that could put us into trouble and it could, uh, you know, it could harm you. So that's why safety rules in the lab and in the classroom is very important. I will give you example. I will read it for you. Example of safety rules, number one, read the activity carefully before you start. When the teacher don't give you a paper for activity, for sure, for sure, she will read the instruction or she will inform you about the instruction. Number two, listen to the teacher's instruction, ask question. So when you ask question, raise your hand. It's good to ask question, by the way. I love that when student is asking so that I know if they are really listening at the same time. Asking question means that student is interested about the topic. At the same time, you're eager to know what, what I'm going to do, what I am, you know, what will be the topic today. So that is really good. Next, keep your work area neat and clean. Clean up spills right away. So we need to practice this one in our lab because your section is not the only one using it. At the same time, it's nice to be neat, clean, and organized. Because if you are messing around in the lab, it could also cause us trouble. Okay, so example, if you're just throwing the trash in the floor, someone might step it and then, you know, might slip it over so it can cause accident. So it's nice and good to be neat, clean, and organized. Next, never taste or smell any substances unless directed by the teacher. Of course, not all in the lab is edible. Most of the things in the lab is not edible. And don't taste and smell it because... There are some chemicals that is very hazardous to your health. Hazardous meaning harmful. And when we're doing a task, example, ooh, it looks like tasty. Don't taste it because maybe it seems or it looks like tasty, but that is not edible. Okay, so never try unless the teacher, uh, unless the teacher instructed you. Next, handle sharp items and other equipment carefully. When you're holding, example, a cutter in the lab, don't run, don't throw the cutter when you want to give it to your classmate. Give it carefully and give it uh, gently. Next, use chemicals carefully. Dispose chemicals properly. So when you're using chemicals, we use different tools. For transferring uh, chemicals, Okay, we use different tools. We use a uh, beaker to measure the volume. If it is hot, we need to use a uh, hand cover for our hand protection or the thick gloves or the cloth gloves or the holder, the tongue to transfer it because if it is hot, it could burn your hand. And we need to dispose it properly. Example, uh, don't dispose liquid to the trash. Dispose it to the sink. Okay, because it could cause some chemical reaction if you throw it directly to the trash bin. 
Okay, the same time, it could spill over in the floor. So, liquid, it should be thrown in the sink, not in the trash bin. Help keep plants and animals that you use safely. So, if you are using plants in your experiment, okay, if you only need one leaf, just get one leaf. Don't kill the plant. Don't, uh, you know. So, use it carefully because that is living things. We need to be concerned to living things. Next, tell your teacher if there is an accident. Okay, don't hide it. Don't be afraid. If there's an accident, tell it to the teacher. And then if you need to go to the nurse, tell it to the teacher. Don't go directly to the nurse without informing the teacher so that the teacher know where are you. Next, wash hands. After you finish, it's very important. Even though you are only uh, holding tools, it's important to wash hands so that your hands will be clean and sanitized. Next, wear safety goggles and gloves when necessary. Not all experiment is in need of wearing safety goggles. And not all experiment also needs to use gloves if it is necessary if it is needed you need to wear your safety goggles and gloves example of the experiment that you need to use safety goggles and gloves remember your previous experiment when you're doing the volcano eruption activity that is in need of safety goggles so that the spillover of the vinegar and baking soda will not go to your eyes. At the same time, you need to use gloves to protect your hand because there is some spillage in that experiment. Okay? And then tie back long hair so, so that your hair is protected. Some experiment in the lab, we will use fire. If your hair is thick and it is untied, it could burn your hair by accident that's why tying hair is very important to prevent accident so here in number eight why do you think people with long hair need to tie it back when they do science experiment possible answer you could answer on your own long hair could get in your eyes and prevent you from seeing properly so another example or burning okay it could burn your hair when you're doing experiment using a burner so that's why it's important to tie back your hair number nine identify suppose you are doing an activity with vinegar and baking soda circle the safety rules that might help you in the lab so i have here one two three four five six seven eight nine nine safety rules that is applicable to this experiment not all why I didn't circle handle sharp items and other equipment because when we do the baking soda and then the vinegar mixture, we didn't use sharp object, right? At the same time, we didn't use plants and animals in that experiment. That's why I didn't circle that one. So this too is not applicable to that experiment or to this experiment. Okay? Next, uh, by the way, where can you see safety rules in our lab? It is posted in the bulletin board. Okay. Now, question number 11. The students below are following safety rules. Explain how each student is protected. Okay, this girl is zipping the Ziploc bag. Why she is wearing safety goggles when she is just zipping the ziplock? Okay. Probably inside this bag is a chemical. Okay. That could go to her eyes. That's why the teacher instructed wear your safety goggles when you are zipping this bag because liquid might spill to eyes or it could go to her eyes now here why she's wearing gloves okay she is only handling metal okay so she needs to wear gloves to protect her hand probably this metal is rusty or there is some dust and chemicals that's why she's wearing gloves 
Okay, let's proceed to number 12. How can tools help you to do science? By the way, girls, I want to inform you that science is not only happening in the school. Science is happening everywhere. When your mommy is cooking, science is happening. Remember, when your mom boils the water, when she wants to make her coffee, that is boiling. So, the kettle has a automatic thermometer that stops when it reaches the boiling point. So, that is a science. So, science is happening everywhere around us. So, how can tools help us? Tools can help you make measurements and observation and analyze data. Okay? Number 13. Why is it important for scientists to compare their observation with the observation of the others? Of course, it's very important. Example, you see the answer of your classmate in the lab that their answer is different to yours. Is it important to ask question that why your answer is different? Why mine is different? It's important. That is not cheating. That is just comparing answer. And then you need to ask the teacher why you arrived to a different answer. Comparing is good, especially when you're doing experiment because you're observing. So scientists can make sure that their observations are accurate and complete. That's why the opinions of others is important when you're doing experiment. Okay, girls, I hope you learned a lot today. So if you have some question, post it in Classera uh, or send it privately in my WhatsApp. Enjoy your day, girls. Thank you for watching the video.